Welcome back to Wine Reform. And we're back. So today we are designing the wine label for Kit Viognier. Um, originally I wanted to be inspired by New World wine labels because they tend to have a bit more room for play. You usually get the uh, winery name, pretty little picture, and then your varietal and your vintage. So, you know, there's a couple thumbnails. And I pulled things into Illustrator from then on. Got my assets, changed my assets, got some inspiration I thought would inspire me. Oh yeah, and there are the grapes. That's what Viognier looks like on the vine. Thought maybe I could get some cute little circly boys on the Viognier. Nope, nope, not working. So I played. Well, I did a couple iterations based off some, some thumbnail sketches and I wasn't enthralled. So I went ahead and decided to try just type. If I couldn't do us both justice using our logos, maybe I could change it up and just use our names. Yeah, even though I was doing it at this point, it still felt kind of meh. Yep, at this point I was pretty stuck. So I knew that my New World wine label stuff just wasn't working right away and it was probably just the day. I gave myself one sitting to do this, so I needed to think fast. Hmm, I don't know. Well, uh, maybe, maybe, well, mm, yeah, that could work. So I pulled in an old world wine label and there's one in the book. So old world wine labels tend to have your chateau, which is your winery, your vineyard or whatever, your AOC um, and or Appalachian. They are, tend to be interchangeable. Oh, and they also have your varietal and your vintage, as well as, of course, your alcohol content and, you know, pretty little picture, maybe. So we're in Colorado, and I decided to try to do little doodle of the mountains and see if I could try some cursive again. How cute. Oh, and we're back. So beyond the cursive, I thought maybe let's do a little bit of hand lettering because, you know, hand done stuff and old stuff tends to go hand in hand, and those are the ones that I liked. So I pulled it back into the computer. And you can't see the part where I did a lot more of the refining, but here we go. Just pulling things together, trying to make them a little bit more clean, which sounds really funny because this is all supposed to look a little messy. I fixed up my hand lettering a bit more on the computer, so I guess I'm cheating. And then I added more to my doodle and roughened up the type a bit to match the rest of it. Yep, wiggly. But it was too rough, so I decided to fix it again. And I know I said black and white earlier, or I looked at it in all my inspiration, but I decided, nope. So I use color. And at this point, I thought it looked a little bit like a post-it, but I was okay with that. So I printed it out and decided to test it on the bottle. Come on, oh, come on, it's not that hard. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah. hey, there you go. And there was already schmutz on the bottle, so it stuck really easily. Check that out. Yeah, past me thought it looked like a mockery of a, well, you'll see. Even though I thought it was funny, I still kind of liked it. So I said, we're gonna keep this, but, yep. Yeah, I had to show you, see? I don't know, I'm kind of proud of it, in a weird way. It's mine. <laughs> 